All right, if you rent out property here in Colorado, you need to hear this. A bill to be introduced in the state Senate later this year would increase property taxes on short-term rentals by four times the value. Your reporter in the mountain, Spencer Wilson, spoke to the bill's co-sponsor and looks into what it means for tourism-based economies. The area around this beautiful A-frame home in Summit County, Colorado has not changed while the family was planning to build and eventually rent out the property for some of the time during the year and then live in it for some of the parts of the year. But the situation with renting has absolutely changed. And this ladder goes to the third floor, which is- It's been a dream to build a mountain house, specifically an A-frame, and that's what we've built here. Um, and for us and our family to enjoy it. Family room. With the introduction of State Senate Bill 33, short-term rentals would be subject to a new classification for property tax, depending on how often they rent out. The more they rent, the higher their classification and the higher their tax becomes. Which, for a community with an economy based on tourism, could see big changes. But this is not just for the mountains. So not just mountain towns, but for the entire state of Colorado. Alpine Edge in Breckenridge manages a lot of short-term rentals for second homeowners. They believe you'll see people stop renting out their properties altogether if the bill passes because it simply will not be profitable for short-term rentals. There's 24,000 short-term rentals in the state of Colorado. Half of them are here in the county. He says if short-term rental properties go, Summit County is sunk. I'm worried that this place will become a ghost town. That, that I, I am scared not only for my livelihood, along with the livelihood of all of the employees that work here at Alpine Edge. Every single business in this town will suffer as a result of this. We're, we're going to really narrow it down. And, but that's and not what Chris Hansen, a co-sponsor of the bill, raised, says the intent was. Way. He wants it to help close loopholes, he says, that occur in short-term rental markets, like when hotels claim to be short-term rentals for cheaper tax rates. In fact, we've got examples of properties in places like Steamboat and Crested Butte where entire hotels were suddenly overnight converted into residences. They're still being run like hotels, and it takes millions of dollars out of the school budget, uh, which then has to be backfilled by the state. The sponsor has heard a lot of feedback. Uh, I asked Dylan uh, Roberts, state uh, senator representing a lot of our mountain communities, what he thought about the bill. Because right now there's bipartisan opposition to the bill. So, no, I don't support the... The way the bill's written right now, I think it is uh, imprecise and could have really negative consequences for our tourism industry here in our mountain communities, as well as uh, economic impacts far beyond that. And he's not alone. Even the co-sponsor, Hansen, said the first draft of this bill did not make the mark, especially after conversations with second homeowners. Through those conversations, I've, I think we've really started to fill out uh, the, the nuance and complexity here. And, and I think you'll really see that reflected in the amendments that we bring to the bill is that we will see some, some better differentiation because the current version, as I said, kind of a placeholder. I did ask for some examples of the planned amendments, but did not get any. The bill hearing will happen in late February in first committee with a more specific proposal next month. While people like Christine keep their fingers crossed, their dream investment doesn't turn into a nightmare. And we hope to not lose the home either. We want this for our children. In Summit County, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first. And Spencer is your reporter in the mountains and would love to hear your story ideas. You can send them his way through our website, cbscolorado.com.